Cam McGuire here with goaltender Ian Milos. Ian, you look at the season as a whole, you weren't with the club to start the season. You came in about December, a North Grafton Mass native. Did you ever picture a year like this? No, definitely not. I, uh, I already figured my year was pretty, uh, you know, different from the other guys. But uh, to, you know, finish early with uh, this crazy thing going on, it's definitely unexpected. Well, you signed December 2nd. Kind of tell us the process to get on board here in Worcester. I know uh, you were kind of waiting at home. You were still kind of training in North Grafton. But you had known a couple of the guys by skating with them in the summer. And kind of tell us how all the pieces got put together. Yeah, like you said, I skated with a couple of the guys this summer at the, at the WIC, and uh, I think I got a call from JD uh, the night before anyone else uh, reached out to me. Um, then uh, Barry called me the next day, and it was uh, back and forth with Link the next couple of days until uh, you know, I finally got here. Well, December 2nd you signed, and it took about a week or two for you to actually get in the net here in Worcester, and your pro debut was nothing short of spectacular, a 4-1 win in front of a great crowd at the DCU Center on a Sunday, and all three of your wins came on a Sunday, you kind of developed this title, Mr. Sunday, as the year went on. Do you, do you like that nickname or what? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was, at first it was uh, it was nice, but, um, you know, I can I can win on other days too, <laughs> so uh, I figured, um, you know, I, I didn't want to be labeled to just Sunday games, but unfortunately that's, that's where it ended. We talk about you being a local kid, whenever you were in the net, whenever you were suited up, you had a big, uh, big audience in attendance. It had to feel nice to, to kind of start your pro career off on that foot and kind of play in front of your friends and family in year number one. Yeah, I definitely agree. Uh, like you said, it was a nice transition, you know, having the family and friends around and, uh, you know, some familiar faces on the team. So, um, you know, it's awesome to have them at the games. They supported me throughout, you know, my younger hockey and, uh, you know, at BC. So, yeah, it's awesome to see. Well, as the off season is here, you're going to be right down the road, I'd imagine. Uh, What's the off season kind of look like for you? What's the next couple couple weeks more specifically look like? Uh, plan to go home tonight after you know all said and done. A lot of the guys are leaving, but uh, probably take a couple weeks off and you know start working out skating. And then uh, I, I coach younger goalies in the summer with my goalie coach, so uh, start that up and uh, whenever this whole thing you know ends. Yeah. I guess. And uh, last one here, I'm going to ask every guy this, but you look back on the year. Biggest clown on the Worcester Railers hockey team. Biggest clown, Justin Murray. Without, really? Uh, yeah. Okay. Without even a thought. Basically. Yeah. Give us yeah. a little explanation. What do we got? Oh, uh, just uh, just a kid that loves to have fun. You know, he's a funny guy in the locker room. He, you know, he makes me laugh all the time. So uh, just a just a goofy kid that I know all the boys love. Absolutely, I love it, Ian. Uh, once again, great start to your pro career. Great to have you in Worcester, and best of luck moving forward here. Appreciate it. Thanks, Ken.